5G will be rolling in soon. And while we got cool stuff to look forward to, like faster Wi-Fi and driverless talking cars, and let's look at the detrimental effects it has on our health and stop falling for the flashy products and start questioning the risks this technology really imposes. Before we unravel all this madness, be sure to go to the Australian Evolutionary Movement Facebook page and give that a like. Uh, there's some great material and content over there. And go also go over to the MeWe page for the Australian Evolutionary Movement as well. Go check out uh, my personal page, Nathan Motti, for Facebook. I'm currently facing a 30-day ban, and I'll be back on in 13 days. So that's why I, I recommend checking out MeWe as well, because I share a lot of the same content over at that page. And I have done a few videos on this in the past, talking about the health risks um, on 5G, and how 5G is a component the military has been using. The video link to that will be in the description below. And there have been numerous times that scientists have come out saying that, uh, that 5G does pose a threat to our health. And, and new science also shows that the new 5G microwave radiation can even cause DNA damage and cancer. As well as we've talked about other stuff in earlier videos about it uh, affecting eyelids. And it can even penetrate skin, make people sick. Uh, all sorts of stuff can come out of these microwave radiations. Of constantly sending these electronic manic magnetic fields uh, on and on between the human and the phone. And of course, that's what you expect with all the magnetic electronic fields that have been coming out of this. And with how much of your data is being sent back and forth. This is very detrimental to our health. And a lot of this technology has already been used in the past. Uh, especially with 3G and 4G, but this next 5G is just a whole new wave of trouble. It is just next level madness. And with the recent rollout of um, Huawei, and to begin the rollout of the 5G, um, Huawei, a company from China, did get the green light in the United Kingdom. To, when you really look at who we are, they're a Chinese company that has been accused of being tied to the Chinese government. And the UK has given them the green light to set up their 5G networks in their country. And there have been issues and a delay on the rollout of 5G in Australia. Um, well, the rollout of 5G in Sydney. And with Optus working with uh, Vendor, uh, they blame the Huawei ban on the delay in Australia as um, Optus Chief Executive Alan Laws plans to roll out fixed wireless 5G services this month have been pushed back amid industry speculation that the government's ban on provides like Huawei for the high speed network is to blame for delays. So in February 2018 the second ranked mobile and fixed internet provider Revealed plans to be the first to market with the fixed product in early 2019. And that's Vendor. So that's what Optus uh, plans to be working with now. And the telco successfully switched its first site on in Canberra. But, but this is a good occurrence to come out of this. The um, Australia and Japan banned Hawaii, um, the Chinese company, unlike uh germany and the united kingdom which have welcomed them in with open arms and that was after a warning by the u.s and even malcolm turnbull came out warning britain about letting um huawei build their 5g networks and also blasting western nations for failing to develop their own versions of the 5g network malcolm turnbull has blasted australia's closest security allies including the u.s New Zealand, Canada, and the UK for failing to develop their own 5G networks. He called it frankly absurd. And of course, with how concerning this can all be, we've given this much power to the Chinese government. And it is also concerning just to know that we'll be getting so much more military activity uh, integrating into civilian activity. And I guess that's one thing I can agree with Malcolm Turnbull on. With all the uh, military intervention that's happening in this whole thing, Donald Trump just recently came out saying that he wants 6G internet as soon as possible. As he has been um, 
urgently pushing for 5G recently. But what this is all about, it's all about really just giving complete power to the government and allowing the government to control every aspect of human life and pretty much just giving them power to everything. It's electromagnetic pollution that that, that surrounds us everywhere, that's constantly around us while we breathe, eat, sleep. And even Elon Musk recently came out with a warning. He was talking to Andrew Yen in an interview. Uh, he said, artificial intelligence... Uh, he says, artificial intelligence could be an immortal dictator. And with the influence that social media holds over so many people's daily lives, perhaps we're already beginning to see the results that this is having on us. And you can see the article here, from which we can never escape. Uh, in a new documentary, uh, Elon Musk warns, do you trust this computer? Musk warns the creation of superintelligence could lead to an immortal dictator. Very concerning stuff. At least, when there's an evil dictator, that human is going to die. But for an AI, there would be no death. It would live forever. And then you'd have an immortal dictator from which we can never escape. The the documentary by Payne examines a number of examples of AI. And we've talked about AI in recent videos and the World Economic Forum talking about merging the human mind with um, artificial intelligence. And this stuff is getting out of control, guys. And with everything now being documented online, we all face the threat of having our social media accounts terminated at any time. It's, it's important that we talk to people about this, get the information out there, and actually communicate with people. That's the only way we can get this information out there without being thrown down the memory hole. So, that concludes this video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, give me a like and subscribe if you found this um, information useful. Um, Find me on alternative platforms. The links to those will be in the description below. To MeWe, Minds, Twitter, Gab. And um, stay tuned for more videos, guys. And I will see you soon.